Hey guys, it's Tick and Toe, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. Yes, yes, sir. The mic was down on the floor. I see that. Not where we normally have it, because we're dummies. Only one of us is truly a dummy. In the last be episode, we tool. found Sarah Hawkins, the person that we were sent here to investigate because her death sounded fishy, and, uh, well, it turns out she's not dead. Perfect. <laughs> we have a poker now. That's nice. And, uh, right now we're trying to disable the gas delivery system for this underground facility. I feel like introducing potentially explosive gases right next to a fire. Right. Oh, look! I was right! Tentacle Man is not dead. I'm your puppet no more, you bastard! I see. Oh, Charles Hawkins. Um, I, I don't, I don't know about that. Leave her alone. We're leaving this crazy I guess we did live in a different time, right? Oh, hey, would you look at that? I was, uh, I was onto something with the gas. You are going nowhere. Don't get between me and my wife. Dude, you're like a tentacle monster. Hey, I think now would be a good time to use that pistol that we had. Yeah. You know that we've supposedly had this entire time, but we've just kept hidden. I wonder if Sarah Hawkins is not <laughs> the poker. To do with my wife. Not even my wife. Wait, really? We're hitting him with the poker. Yep. Doesn't that seem like a, a silly thing to do? I mean, it's literally got its purpose built into the name. Push him into the fire. No. Why should I let you take her away when I could snap your neck? Uh... You, uh, you have no future with Look at yourself. You can't leave this place. You can't offer her a normal life. Sarah forsook that right when she succumbed to the call. You heard her. No, detective. She is much, much more than a woman. She is the Oracle. <gasps> Uh, I wonder if we Sarah can... has seen things, has made things you can't even begin to imagine. Would you still save her if I told you that she is even more dangerous than I am? Ah, uh, she hurt me. <gasps> it was her magic. The bookstore. How do you know that? He wants answers, right? It does not matter. I wonder if we're gonna die. Sarah here. has been in the presence of the myth for too long. Even if she were to leave Dark Water, she would still hear his call. And the cult will always be here, waiting for her. Then, we get rid of its members. You are out of your league, detective. They control the whole island. She will finally surrender to his power, and the world will fall with her. Don't! No one can escape the wheel of destiny. I think it would be a they good idea if you pull out your gun and shoot But me. I will change it. I will save Sarah. I wonder if we got here. Oh! Sarah! <laughs> shoot dang. Hey look, we could have done that if we had just used the poker for its intended purpose. Could you imagine? <laughs> we didn't have to go through that whole thing of asphyxiation. Uh-oh. Oh gosh, can he even die? I hope so. Quickly, shoot him! Come on! Pull the gun out, shoot him, make some calamari. Yeah, I don't, I don't think he's gonna wrap you in his tender embrace. 
Oh shoot, are you gonna give in? Are you gonna throw him in the fire? Hey! Oh, right. Wait a minute. How did we even get that axe? I don't know. What would they need an axe down here for in the boiler room? Who knows? <laughs> no, I, I, I think you should take the axe. <laughs> it literally just saved your life. Also, it is a miracle that everybody down here didn't die. Right. Like, in that span of time. Just to the fumes. <laughs> Well, that's <laughs> neat. Chapter 9. We're back at the mansion now. We're still in Chapter 9, though. Yes, we are. Right. So, okay. Apparently, she's an oracle. And Cthulhu is constantly trying to worm his way into her brain. And we can trust very, very few, if any, people on the island. Because the cult is apparently spread everywhere. I would not be surprised if the boat captain... And Cat are involved with it. But, I'm unsure. I think at the very least the boat captain would be. Seems fair. So, but Cat might be f working with them, but not of them. Right. I wonder if we'll find the groundskeeper around here. No parent should have to bury their child. Knowing it's me that put him there. That's not your child, that's your husband. No, that's her child. We'll never go away. What? Oh, right, I forgot they had a son. I'll do anything to get him back. Oh, no. Anything. Nope, that's not good. We should just kill her now. My work was what lured me here in the first place. Began showing me things. Things I never should have painted. Things Charles should never have seen. What am I to you? <laughs> I took care of you. Saved you from your miserable life. You'll never find a man better than me. You owe me. I owe you nothing. We'll leave now. He didn't seem to take too kindly You're to that. Not going anywhere. <clears throat> Can you grab it and smash it over his head or something? You are mine. Oh, sun's going in. Uh oh. Oh, he's on fire. Did you never hear a stop, drop, and roll? <laughs> Come on, you're right there. You can do this. <laughs> oh, I, I see. We got something wrong there. We... Oh, shoot. How the frick did the son die? Well, he's unconscious. Where'd the mom go? I don't know. Now who's that? Oh, she was knocked unconscious. Oh, the groundskeeper. Oh, okay. Hey! Oh, shoot. You know what that means, right? He knew the whole time what had happened, and he didn't tell us. Right. <laughs> what a deal. Why would you do that? Simon. I wonder where he Come is. On. It's over now. You think he's still kicking around in the shed up there? Unless he died. Right, but that oh. seems unlikely. That's not good. Oh, Cthulhu. That's not good at all. These cutscenes are really cool. He's got a big mouth. Yeah, of course he does. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, 2CP, baby. I, I saw that. Okay, so we've just been chilling on the couch up here. You would think, with the size of this mansion, they would have a spare bed. Oh, we have seven now. Nice. Spot uh, hidden? Um... Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Spot hidden it will be. Okay. 
And then I think we probably should keep our strength up to par. So I think we should upgrade it. But then the next one I think we should probably do is eloquence. Or investigation. So, I, I'm thinking eloquence because I think investigation and psychology are good enough. Oh, that's four out of five. That's actually... Yes. I, I didn't realize it was so high. And then if, if we get eloquence after strength... Then we can Mr. do those Pierce. tests, like those rapid fire. We were tests. waiting for you. Right. You know, good. Sarah doesn't have much time. That doesn't sound what good. What are you doing here? <laughs> Did you think I would let you confront the occult without supervision? Makes sense. This is too dangerous for a bookworm like you. <laughs> we almost Elgin, died. <laughs> I need to talk to Mr. Pierce. Very well, Sarah. I will be in Charles Hawkins' office. No, no, I, I think that nerd guy's got a point, for sure. <laughs> I think we need the help of a, an occult expert. You seem right. different. Yes. When I woke up this morning, my mind was sharper. Cleaner. I can I... still hear the voice calling me. It is so strong. So ancient. Enticing. Dangerous. I may never be able to escape his grip, but for now, I can keep it at bay. I would ask I that you were a bomb caller. But Just I can't come back to Boston with you. Um, I don't think we should do that one. Psychology. Er, psychology. Let's do the psychology one. This one. Yep. Why do you think you're responsible for everything that has happened? Because I am. I am the one who read the forbidden book. I am the one who painted the creature. I must find it and kill it. I am the only one who can end its slaughter. No. No, you will come with me to Boston. I owe you no obedience. This isn't about what you want or don't want to do. You would risk destroying the world just because you can't face the consequences of your actions. I am willing to atone for my sins. No, you're just trying to erase all proof of the mistakes you've made. I know what I have done. I will not rest until the creature is sent back to its dimension. Uh, ooh. all right. Um, yeah, we're still sane enough to do it. You can't give up, even knowing the stakes. Yes, thank you. Still, I won't let you go. What? You will stay here until I find a safe way to return to Boston. That's ridiculous. Listen, Algernon knows of a way to protect me. Help him find what he seeks and we may all survive this battle. All right, I'll help you. Consult diary. Okay, can you check our sanity real quick? Yeah. Make sure our sanity hasn't dropped further. Okay, we're still shaking. Yeah, no, I think it's not that we're sane enough, you know, to speak that language. I think we're insane. Enough. Yeah. But we're... Sh uh, maybe. Oh, you think if we just hadn't read a number of the books and all that stuff, then, like, we wouldn't be able to say any of that stuff to her? Yeah. Because, like, <laughs> that is clearly not, like, a normal English. thing. In here? No. Okay. Hey, can we check the circle out? Was Sarah Hawkins telling the truth? Oh. Oh! Let's have another look-see at her office. What kind of ritual was she preparing? Because there's no guarantee she is not evil. Right. And she's not trying to trick us on the painting aisle. Look at the stand. Behind you. Yes. No, to your right. To your right. To your right. Keep going. Yes. Oh! I literally couldn't see that at all. Was the painting of the Shambler displayed here? Occultism. Ah! Oh. I would not be surprised if that hit our sanity. Mrs. Hawkins like never it. told me why she was in possession of the Necronomicon. She was trying to send back the Shambler. Okay. Our investigation skills are helping out. Knowing Mrs. Hawkins, I bet she was willing to fight. Okay. Now, what went wrong? Ooh. Charles Hawkins was ready to do anything to protect his wife. Okay, so he came in to help her and fight the Shambler? Failed incantation. Alright, let's check our sanity to see if that actually drove us nuts. 
Shaken. No. Sarah Hawk. Oh, was it? It was in there, wasn't it? The Sarah Hawkins ritual. Yeah, it was right here. Okay. I'm assuming that just got added. Yeah, no, it was. Dang. Nope. Nope. Okay. Another one. Nope. Gonna take a good look-see. So, but that still adds context. So, at that time, it looks like she was trying to kill the creature. Oh, this doesn't look ominous. <laughs> oh, it's his room again. Yes, it is. Um, so it looks like at a time she was ready to fight the creature right. and her husband came in to help her, but we know the current situation was he was evil and a cultist and, uh, she basically was insane. I think she we've already got everything, but probably, but we didn't get everything in there. So there's no guarantee. Well, that was a new thing. It was. So. Doesn't look like anything crazy's in here. Right. Good, he finally passed out. Yeah, no, he, he was asleep before we started recording. Okay, now where was the office he was talking about? Is it downstairs? Or maybe. For being a mansion, this place isn't very big. No. No, but there wouldn't be a whole lot of point of them making just a ton of map that they wouldn't be using for something. I'm assuming we can just assume that there's way more mansion that we can't see. Right. Oh, on the table behind you. Real quick. Yeah. Okay, I thought I saw something. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah, this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember this place. All right, Chief, what'd you find? Hmm. Oh, I thought that was a longer hallway. No. Seeing you again. Ah, it's you. I'm here for her, not you. Uh -huh. I don't care why you're here. Your usefulness is the only thing that matters. How do we protect Mrs. Hawkins from the influence of the forces that claim her? By following Charles Hawkins. That imbecile of a thief, of course. What do you mean? He found something. An amulet. The symbol engraved on it could protect Sarah. Could? Oh, there's the cat. We are dealing with forces oh, that by far surpass what your intellect can process. Feel uh -huh. free to ask me any question regarding the matters that exceed your grasp. All right. Um, he sold daggers to Sanders. He must... Oh, sanity's high enough for that. Or valid sanity requirement. Yeah. What is the true nature of the Necronomicon? I see that you are interested in my precious book. It is the definitive book of knowledge of the occult, Mr. Pierce. Written by Abdul Alhazred. It is the answer to many a question. That is why it's so highly valued. Yes. And even though it is a copy given to me as a gift by Professor Armitage of Miskatonic University. The work remains very powerful. It's I understand in human better skin. why you keep it in a safe. Um, a dimensional shambler. This creature, the shambler, what is it? It is a hunter. It travels from one dimension to another to hunt down its prey. Francis Sanders was one of its victims. How could a creature like that end up in one of Mrs. Hawkins' paintings? Sarah has an uncommon gift. A connection with entities that live beyond our reality. Hey, baby! I doubt that she was aware at the Hi. time, but when she painted the picture in a certain way, she called it. Well, she better not remains paint anymore. In our reality. Let us say that it uses the painting as a portal into our reality. And we make enticing prey for it. That's why we must find a way of sending it back to where it came from. We did stab the painting. Um, he sold daggers to Sanders. The dagger with a strange sign. Was it you who sold it to Francis Sanders? If you are referring to the dagger of the ancients, then yes, it was me. Why? Do you know what he intended to do with it? Francis was primarily a collector of occult objects. He liked rare items such as the dagger, 
<laughs> but I doubt he knew its purpose. It allowed me to send the creature you call the Shambler back into the painting. Fascinating. But I am afraid that this might only be short-lived. Of course. You mean that thing could come back? Yes, that is why I am looking for a more... What if we just burn the painting? Permanent solution. You're going to tell it me it's never immune to fire? Back. I don't think it's immune to fire, but it's... He must have a plan to get rid of it. A genius like you must have already found a way to get rid of this creature, yes? I sense your sarcasm, but it does happen that, yes, I do have a solution. Well, I think I can destroy it, but for that I must approach the creature. <laughs> and to be able to do so... I need the key to Rie. Another one of your baubles. It is no bauble, unbeliever. It is a very powerful protection, able to repel very ancient forces, much more effective than your cult. We've what never even like? used it. It is a golden amulet, bearing very ancient inscriptions and an elder sign at its center, a star with an eye in the middle. I bet my I've cult would be more effective sign. than your amulet if I Where deign to use it? it for even one Therein instance when lies we're going the problem. to die. That foul thief Charles has hidden it somewhere. I found this drawing among his personal effects. I think that it has something to do with the location of the amulet. I'll follow this lead. You continue searching. Hi, baby. That is what I intend to do. As for you, return here the second you find it. I don't want it to disappear again. Okay. Oh, we have a sketch of a bust. Okay. Uh, clues. No. Okay. What is it like an eye patch then, or something? Yeah, or maybe it's hidden underneath it, or something. Right. I would assume the sketch is. It's not on the the stand right there, is it? It'd be wild if this was it. That would be so stupid. Cat, go away. He can't help it. Yes, he can. He's stupid. Hmm. Well, we don't have access to that art gallery still, do we? No. I'm assuming it's somewhere just in the mansion. Yeah, probably. Though I'm unsure as to where... We'll give it a look-see. Oh, boy. Um. Hmm, doesn't that look familiar? Oh. Oh, oh. come on. Another one. A bus next to a skull. Yeah. Oh, can you look at that door real quick? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Never mind. What part of never mind did you not understand, boy? I mean, it's funny. The only reason he would put all this stuff here is so somebody else could find this item. Because he would just know where it is. Right. That looks similar, but I didn't see a skull. Right. Okay. We'll definitely have to come back to that one eventually. Probably. Where, oh, where could it be? Who is the you? lower. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks like it. Yep. Hey. Oh, sweet. It's just right there. This sweet. is the amulet that Drake was looking for. <laughs> this will affect your destiny. Oh, that doesn't look good. Great. Uh, can you check our sanity again? <laughs> uh, we're psychotic. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's not good. We didn't get anything else, though. That, like was in here, you know? We didn't get any new thing. It's a whole freaking amulet, man. Wait, what was the last one? 
watched this this the one cold truth. for a while. The cost of truth. Oh, uh, okay. While Pierce's sanity is growing dangerously weaker, his increased sensitivity to the occult opens new ways for him. Um... Using it comes at a cost. Uh -oh. Okay. Oh, so that's so using the occult stuff opens up more options, but it is bad. Yeah. <gasps> that's not good. You want to talk to this guy? Yeah. Okay. So stay away from occult stuff now. How are you, Bradley? Ah, it's you. Because we're just straight up a psycho now. I'm just worried about Marie. I mean, Doctor Colden. Have you had any news? Tell the truth. I'm so sorry, Bradley. I could do nothing to save her. What do you mean? What happened? I'm not sure what happened. But I found her body in the cellars of Riverside. You... You sure that you've got nothing to do with it? If she hadn't tried to help you, she might still be alive. I'm sorry. Truly. It's that slug full of... I swear I'll shoot him. What do you say, Pierce? Are you with me? Um. <laughs> uh, no, let's do, um, the talk. Yeah, eloquence. I'm sure Dr. Colden would have wanted you to help fight the cult. Fuller is just a link in the chain. It's their leader that must be tracked down. Marie devoted the last three months fighting against this monster. And it cost her her life. He killed her, Pierce. Don't presume to understand her motivations when you obviously paid no attention to her crusade. We must do something for those who are still alive, Bradley. Sarah is still in danger as long as the cult is active. We need to see this through, otherwise Marie's death will have been in vain. You're, uh... The voice of reason, Pierce. As always. Why, thank you. Let's go back and talk to this guy. So yeah, let's not use the occult language anymore. Because <laughs> that... I think it's fun. Yeah, but I also <laughs> think the more we get into the occult, the worse the ending will be. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, it opens up options for us, but... It literally said, oh, you're going to pay a price. Like, just this amulet alone. Uh, it's you again. I feel like the best flex for the playthrough is um, to, like, use occult as little as possible. Right. And then for the key things, use it. I guess give him the I amulet. I think I found what we're looking for. Oh, wait. We should have kept we it. see that. Yes. That's it. It's perfect. We are saved. I must tell Mrs. Hawkins. Yes, do that. Part of me feels like we should have kept it, but it is what it is. What's our CP at? I don't know. Three. Ah. We're halfway there. We've earned two really fucking quickly, though. Yep. Well, hello, madame. Mrs. Hawkins. I have it. It's a strange amulet. I hope it will protect you, considering that nothing will help you change your mind. You well, must understand... I already Whoa. went too far. Where what are you have going? you seen that's so what terrible? You, you convinced yourself that you had to risk so much. I can't tell you now. This story is going to end badly. Yes, Chief West is here with Sullivan. Bradley, you take care of Sarah. I will deal with them. You sure? All right. My man, Bradley. Well, hello there. I've been hearing about you a lot lately. You seem to enjoy causing trouble. And I haven't heard anything about you. Nice job, Chief. You got me. Great police work. You can try to play smart with me all you want, Pierce. What's he gonna do, punch us? Witnesses right. have identified you as the one who set fire to Riverside. Witnesses? How convenient. That's not the whole story, is it? It's corruption. Hey, would you look at that? 
I don't care. I bet they're part of the cult. Stories. Save them for the judge. You know, us cops, we base our investigation on facts and testimonies. You might want to try that next time. <laughs> I gave fifty dollars to Steve, and Steve said that he saw you with a bag of weed. <laughs> Straight to the slammer he goes. <laughs> Yeah, I don't doubt for a second that that is an evil person. Officer right. Bradley, he's Mega Chad Cobb. I think guy... he's evil too, but for different reasons. <sighs> what, you think he's like a sleeper? Hey, we're in 10 now. You think we're like a sleeper agent? He's a sl sleeper agent? Like, well, he died. Yeah. That's why I think that. You know? Did it take like a dark pack to live? You think he seems really depressed because he's gonna have to betray us no i think he was brought back to life and doesn't know what he's doing you know mm. like he's he thinks possessed. he's helping us but yeah he's <sighs> basically possessed it's very possible so. well I think we can end it here. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, all things considered, uh, it was both a good and a bad episode. Made a lot of progress, but on the downside, we've not necessarily gotten the finer points of the sanity tree hammered down until it was a little bit too late. Whatever. So, I'm cool with poor sanity. <laughs> I'm not. I, I always try to get the good ending on the first playthrough. but I just get whatever ending and then go for the others later. Yeah, well, I'm not usually super big on re replaying, so... Gosh dang it, stupid cat. He can't help it. He's Just, fat. Go on, go on. Get down. Get out of here. <sighs> <sighs> yeah. But aside from that, at the very least, decent progress this episode. Yep. We're on chapter 10 out of 14, so suppose we'll see how we're getting ready to fight Cthulhu, or I guess this, in this case, the local police department... <laughs> in the next episode. So, until next time, guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.